Some say Saddle Ridge Golf Course is the best kept secret in Wisconsin. We're talking to Margie Druce, owner today. Nice to have you on the program. Thanks for joining us. Well, thank you. Glad to be here. It's lovely to have you, and we can see some golfers out having some time, good time right now. Tell us a little bit about Saddle Ridge and what makes this community so special. The people, for sure. The best thing in Saddle Ridge is the people. We have 350 homes around a lovely golf course that has a marina, a, stat, a tennis court, and pickleball court, and the golf course, of course, and a huge new clubhouse that we just built that I'm standing in now. So the people is what make it great. Oh, some wonderful folks, I understand. Let's talk about this new addition that you have to Saddle Ridge. You're standing in it. Of course, we can't see much of it right now, but tell us about it. Well, um, I sent some pictures in of, of a beautiful new kitchen, uh, lovely 30 person people at the bar, so that when the golfers get done, they can, all, after all our leagues, we can come right in. Um, and I'm looking for a partner to partner up and run this beautiful new restaurant with us. So it'll be a great addition to the Saddle Ridge community. Well, we're really looking forward to that. Uh, of course, there's been so many changes to all sports. We're wondering about the PGA tour Tournament. Are you going to be able to have that this year? Well, I certainly hope so. In Wisconsin, the P all the PGA tournaments are going to resume in June. And on July 10th, we have a junior tour tournament scheduled here at Saddle Ridge, where 55 young 8 to 12 year old golfers are going to be golfing on our course to bless us with their great tournament. So it should be wonderful. Okay, well, we'll keep our fingers crossed that that gets to go off without a hitch. Let's talk a little bit too about what's available right now. Are lessons available or do you think that they will be in the near future? How is that working for you? Okay, right now there's no personal lessons because you have to get closer than six feet. But um, we're hoping very shortly, Greg Vera is our um, pro and he does personal or group lessons. And we're hoping that that will soon be a starting up again. You can call the clubhouse for setting up lessons. Fantastic. Some other things that you're of course known for on that beautiful space that you have is holding some outings, weddings, things of that, that nature. So tell us a little bit about that and obviously not available right now, but hopefully in the near future. Yes, we're hoping so in the very near future. Um, we have had three actual weddings on our golf course because we have a beautiful setting in hole three where we have a lovely bridge that the bride comes across and we set up a trellis with the palm in the pond as the background so that um, all the bride sits in a lovely setting. And now our new capacity in the new clubhouse is 200. So people will be able to have their reception and everything right here. It's gonna be delightful. It sounds like it is. And let's talk a little bit about the course for folks that are out there who might be interested in coming out yeah, either now or when things ramp up a little bit later in the season. You have a nine hole course. Tell us about that. We do have a nine hole course. And I added last year um, a black tee, a par three tee to every hole so that the senior golfers and the junior golfers that are just starting, it's only 1,123 yards for the par three um, around the course. So it's a nice shorter starting out or ending off for those who have lost their distance, but still want to get out there and golf. So it's a great way to still utilize the nine holes, but let everybody get out there and golf just for the fun of it. Absolutely. Well, we're certainly excited to get outdoors and get some golf under our belts this year. Thanks for sharing some of that with us and your new space. Congratulations. We hope you get to have your tournament and events up and running soon. Margie Drews, thanks for joining us today. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Um, okay. Let's get over this COVID virus. Thank you. You bet. Thank you very much. We'll be back with more Talk Wisconsin coming up after the break.